Good morning to all. This is Julius Yusuf, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Mechatronics, Tiaraja College of Engineering, Madhuri. Today we are going to discuss about control valves in pneumatic system. The overview of the topic today will be introduction about valves, types of valves, in the type of valves we are discussing about direction control valve, not return valve, pressure control valve, etc. Before we enter into the topic, we have to know about valves. Valves are defined as a device to control or regulate the flow of pressure flow of the fluid. Valves available for pneumatic control can be classified based on their functions into direction control valve, non-return valve, flow control valve, pressure control valve, etc. We know about valves. Whenever we are talking about the valves, we have to know about the function of heart. In the function of heart, the major function of the heart will be directing the flow of the liquid that is blood and it is going to pump in the different directions. For these different directions, we are going to open and close different valves. Like that, here we are also discussing about these types of valves in the pneumatic system. At first, we are discussing about the direction control valve. The direction control valve is a device that receives an external signal like mechanical, fluid pilot signal, electrical or electronic signal to release, stop or redirect the fluid here in fluid denotes the hydraulic system whereas in pneumatic system we are discussing about air that flow through the the function of the direction control valve is to control the direction of the air flow in any pneumatic system. The direction control valve does this by changing the position of internal movable part. To be more specific, direction control valves are used to start, stop and direct the flow of the air in the pneumatic system. So that is the predominant function of the direction control valve. And these direction control valve types are going to be discussed in next slide. So how we are going to classify the direction control valve? Based on four different types of classifications like construction based classification, number of port based classification, number of position based classification and actuating mechanism. So at first we are talking about construction. In the construction of a valve, the major two types of construction will be poppet construction and spool construction which is called it as a poppet valve or sieve valve and another one is a spool valve. In the spool valve, we are having a sliding spool and a rotary spool. And the second one is number of ports. At first, we have to know about what do you mean by ports and what do you mean by position in the valves. So, that we have to clear in the upcoming slides. After that, we are discussing about these ports and positions. And the last one is a mechanism that is how we are going to activate the valve. Either we are going to actuate manually or by some mechanical system or connected with the electro system or hydraulic or pneumatic. That kind of thing will separate the direction control valve into different types. So next one is a based on the construction. So based on the construction the first topic will be popper valve. Here, the pumper which denotes the pin which is going to seated over a iron system. That is, in this world, a puppet or ball or similar item like a plate or cone or ball is made to seat over a specially constructed finely machined and polished sheet. That is, it is like a system whenever you are going to give some external pressure here. This popper is going to seat over the seating arrangement which is present inside the wall. So by this pressing and releasing the power is coming up and it is going to reach some port which is connected in this part or in this part. So the main way advantages will be very high pressured applications we are using these kinds of ports and very minor leakage only going to happen here. But the disadvantages will be not suited for large fault size 
and it is complicated construction cost aspect. So how this pocket valve can be used for different types of direction control valves in the next slide. That is here we are having one opening and another one opening. This opening is called as a number of ports. Here we are having input port. That is you just assume this is an input then this is the input port. And if you assume this is output, then it is an output port. So there are two ports present in this one. So whenever you are going to give some pressure through this portion, there is a spring which is connected here that makes the popper to move towards this position so that the flow of air will coming through this point and it will going to reach the second which can be explained using a total arrangement since it is a mechanical actuator that is a push button is there we are going to press it by mechanically so that mechanically or manually in other words manually actuator to port one and the position will be here by using this symbolic diagram we can explain the port and position so this one is a denoting the port that is 1 denotes the port 1 and 2 denotes the port 2 where P is the power and A is the output and this box will denotes the position. There are two position that is if you press this push button it will make this position to be overlap in this position. So normally it is closed position where no air is flow from 1 to 2 whenever you are going to press this push button this push button will make this box to overlap in this position so that it will connect the port 1 and port 2 so that it is a opening position where the air is flow from 1 to the 2. So here this action is going to happen by using the popper construction here the popper is made of wall like arrangement. So whenever you are going to make it as a normal wall that we doesn't give any pressure over the push button at that time when port P is act as a 1 in the symbolic diagram that means the air is flowing from the port P and it will be stagnant here unless if you press this push button what happens this ball will going to compress the spring so that the opening will going to happen in that. So the port P air is going to flow through the port B output. After if you are going to releasing this due to the spring tension it is going to retain back its position that is it is the position where the closing position air is not connected to the port A. So this can be explained by using a three port and two position popper DCV wall where we are made of a seat like arrangement. Instead of ball we are going to connect a disc shape which is compressed by a disc returning spring and a stem returning spring. Here we are having a three port as explained in the symbolic diagram where there is port 1 is a always the port 1 will be the power port and port 2 will be the output port and this port 3 that is a reservoir port or in other words it is a vent that is whenever if you are going to release the air from the actuator normally these valves are connected to some cylinders you just assume where the linear and rotatory actuator like cylinders and motors are already discussed in previous topics. So these cylinders what happen whenever you are going to use a double acting cylinder that cylinder will going to release some air. That air is passed through this tube and it is going to send to the atmosphere through the port 3. How we are going to see in this construction where we are having a stem like arrangement which is connected with the push button that is a manual press and it is connected with the disc shaped arrangement popper which is having a returning spring. 
So whenever you are going to press this, what happened? This stem, moving stem, will going to come downwards, so that this stem will going to close the port three. At the same time, the uh, popper arrangement will going to move downwards, so that the one air is going to flow through the two, and at the same time, this three is closed. When you release this, what happened? This one is closed. But the two, which is connected to the three, so that whenever the air from the cylinder is sent out through the three. And now we are going to talk about spool valve. It is similar like the poppet valve. Instead of popper, we are having a cylinder-like arrangement. In this cylinder-like arrangement, the advantages will be explained in next slide, where we are having three port, and in the three port, if you are going to use a spool if you are going to press through this connection due to return spring it is going to move at the time initially the cylinder that is a uh, uh, box 2 this box denotes the spool construction this will close the third port so that the one is opened by it sending inside so one is connected with the two that is shown in the second picture and when you release this, what happens? The two is connected to the three. Like that, we are going to make the arrangement as a two. That is three by two. And these are some of the four by two actuation. How we are going to actuate the four by two one, where we are having four port and two positions. That is uh, explained uh, by using 3 by 2 like that. And there is an another one concept which is a rotary valve and spool. That is normally the rotary valve which is a lever like arrangement which we are used in some of the applications. In that what happens is we are going to have a external cylinders and that cylinder will having a shaft which is made of a X or plus shape. This shaft will have some core that is called it as a shaft and we are having some pores and when it is entered into that if we are going to use this lever while changing this lever what happened this core will going to change its position so depend upon that the port is going to get open or closed where we are having three positions like normally closed normally open and connected alternatively that is returning from the B and it is connected to the 2 or here returning from the 2 and it is connected power is connected to the 4. These kind of 4 by 3 volts are normally used in double acting cylinders for actuating and releasing the double acting cylinder by the single 4 by 3 or 5 by 2. So now we are going for port and positions. Here we are having two positions and we are having two port. So it is called it as a 2 by 2 where the 2 by 2 wall which is made of a ball like popper arrangement popper. And this one is a 3 by 2 where the 3 by 2 which is having a normally open and normally closed. Where whenever you are not going to give any external force here what happens is the 1 power 1 is connected to 2 and this is denoted as a normally closed that is 3 is closed in position here it will shows here that is whenever you are going to give pressure that stem will going to close this position so that the ball will going to release the point and 2 is connected so this is the normal ball which we are using in our laboratory and this is the 5 by 2 ball which is discussed already and these are all some of the port and positions this is 2 by 2 wall positions and this is 3 by 2 where normally closed position that is 2 is connected to 3 1 is closed and this is normally open and like that it is a 4 by 2 5 by 2 5 by 3 wall. and uh, these are all some of the applications which we are discussing about the pneumatic system so we have to know some idea about this pneumatic so till now we discussed about the 
direction control valve and different types of uh, direction control valves. In next class, we are discussing about remaining topics and these are some of the activities, self-quiz activities you have to do by yourself. Thank you.